Ooh, look what we got here. We have some seeds. It is mail time, mail call, y'all. Mail call. They just arrived today. And from Baker Creek. Here's the package. Yes, let's see what we have. What's in the bag? What is in the bag? What do we have? Here? Not a pina pepper. I can't do regular bell peppers. I'm not bell peppers, but hot peppers. So I've been wanting to try these because I do love the flavor of the hot pepper. I can't stand the heat. Not a pina. We have cinnamon basil. We are going to be doing some good cooking. Boston pickling on the cucumber. Yes. Watermelon, the orange low. Orange low. Let's see. Orange glow. The orange glow. Watermelon. The melon charentos. Let's see. Charentos. Charentos. Melon charentos. These look like they're going to come up pretty quick. So we're going to be planting them first. We have the Kalama beans. Y'all see the Kalama beans? If you planted these, let me know. Anything that you know about what I'm showing, please show me. I mean, let me know. The Koshi, no, Tokinashi, Tokinashi turnips. We've not tried these before, so we'll let you know how they are if you have not tried them. We also have ooh, Dazzling Blue Kale. Y'all know I love my kale. I use so much of it for the seeds. I'm running out. We you have the St. Val Valerie carrots. I love to plant my carrots. Oh, golden beets. I've been wanting to try out some golden beets. I've never had. Yes, I have. Once or twice had golden beets. They were pretty sweet. So, you know I have the red ones. I was trying to add a little variety to what I grow and not grow the same thing. As much as it's very important to grow something, to grow something. But I'm trying to add a little variety. Blue Lake. This is the Blue Lake beans, bush beans. These grow very well. And this is another bean that we just talked about, Kalima. 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 So we have the Blue Lake and the Kalima beans. So we're good with beans. So let's see here. Walking stick kale. We don't see how tall that grow. I saw some of you guys had the walking stick kale, and when the frost came, I saw a bit of that. So I've been wanting to try that for a while. Crookneck early golden squash. Um, we have a cabbage here. It's Sapporo Giant Number Four. Sapporo or Sapporo Giant Number Four cabbage. Uh, bull, 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 <laughs> sweet corn. I don't know what that is. B U H A L, bull, sweet corn. It's supposed to uh, guarantee at least two uh, corns per head. This is another thousand, thousand head cam. Yes, we don't see if it's going to look that big. I've always wanted red uh, carrot, so this is the Kyoto carrot. Kyoto red. Y'all know you're going to find out about this. Yes, I will be growing it. This is another Sapporo large head cabbage, number four. Um, Kajari melon. It looks good, doesn't it? I can't wait to try it. Another Blue Lake. Somebody ordered a lot. <laughs> For me, Marvelous Mint. I think this is a combination of different mints. It's like peppermint, no perennial from zones four through nine. Flavors range from various mints. Medicinal benefits attracts uh, beneficial insects and repels pests. Yeah, we're going to grow that. This is another cabbage. We already just talked about that. We have that down pat. White buckwheat. We're going to plant this in the field of greens to give it some vitality, nitrogen, or what have you. Just cover it up with this. So that's why we have that. We have two of those. We have a gift for a free seed. It's called Tomato Spoon. 
And I guess it's called tomato spoon because you can put a lot of the small tomatoes in a spoon. And that's going to be interesting. Pepper Datil. Pepper Datil. Pepper Datil. D-A-T-I-L. D-A-T-I-L. This is a, a seed, a free seed too. Now it's spicy. If you've ever grown this, let me know. I taste because I know I can't taste it because it says blazing hot. Blunt little three five inch fruit ripens to brilliant orange yellow. Bash, vicious heat complex fruity flavor. Y'all let me know. I won't be icky. Okay. Now what we have on the side over here. Y'all went shopping at Home Depot with me yesterday. And I got Swiss chard, the Ford, the Ford hook, Swiss chard, Ford giant hook, lemon, uh, cucumber, I'm dropping stuff on the floor, lemon, cucumber, so I hope y'all were able to see this, burpees, rhubarb, chard, Swiss chard, I don't know if there's rhubarb and Swiss chard mixed together, and then the Ford hook giant. The lemon cucumber, you familiar with that? Straight A, straight eight cucumber. This is go big okra. I've not heard of that one, so we're gonna try it. Bush sugar baby, uh, watermelon. Now you know the things that are compact sugar baby, whatever, is going to grow and harvest. You you be able to harvest it pretty early, okay? So. They're always something good. You eat off that while you're waiting on other things to grow. Okra Clemson Spineless. This is the uh, Eggplant White Knight Hybrid. And I need to go back and get another one because someone is interested in this in case they don't have it in their area. Watermelon Crimson Sweet. I think these were on sale. Georgia Rattlesnake Watermelon. This is the pickle bush. Always nice to do pickle bush or bush type of cucumber. And you can do the regular kind too, like the straight eight. And the market more. And the here's the cucumber bush champion. So that means it's going to grow bush like instead of a vine. Okay, you guys. Thank you for coming along with me as we go through and went through what we uh, received in the mail. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I'll see you in the garden. Take care. Don't forget to like. Subscribe, share, bring a friend along. Tell them to come on and see what we're growing out here. I'm excited to go out in the garden, grow with you again. Take care.